Hello guys, Marcus here from Nerdemic, and I am here at Oxford Comic Con, and I'd like to introduce you to someone right now. Uh, would you like to introduce yourself? Oh, hello, my name is Ken Colley, and I'm an alcoholic. Oh, shit, wrong meeting. You all look the same problem. No, uh, I was in Star Wars, among others, as you may or may not know. Here. And uh, so you played Admiral Piet in Star Wars. So how was that? What was the experience like being on those sets with, uh, with all those now iconic <coughs> sites? Well, the way, it, the way it panned out, wonderful. But at the actual time of my first day of shooting, I wanted it to be over and just go home and lie down. Because in those days, they were creating so much that was new. It wasn't CGI, it was live action. And we had to do so many takes to get it right. And that drives me crazy. That sounds like, yeah, quite a hectic, but I imagine amazing experience. Well, I think on my first morning with my first scene, I did 17 takes of the same little bit of dialogue. You try doing that, you start to go crazy. <coughs> Yeah, no, I can, I can imagine. But and I'm, I'm, I'm very lucky and very glad to be part of this. I'm just making the distinction of what it feels like inside to do and the, the point of view from outside the tent looking in as opposed to inside the tent looking out. So, uh, so what brought you to Oxford Comic Con? They asked me, they requested, are you free? Would you like to come? And I said, well, yes. <coughs> Excellent. Do you do many uh, Comic Cons, many uh, events like this? I don't do that many. I have to kind of want to be in the place where they're at. Well, I can certainly think of worse places to be in than uh, the exam schools at Oxford. Well, this, is, this is a beautiful town. I mean, it's just magnificent. So Oxford, as much as anything else, is the attraction for me. Wow, that's great. Um, so tell us a bit more about your uh, career. You've uh, been in Monty Python as well, and you've recently appeared in Peaky Blinders, is that right? Yes, that's right. There's a bit of a gap between those two, and there's a bit of a gap between the characters. Um, well, once again, the phone rang, and a group of people said, do you want to come and be Jesus? And I said, that depends. This was the Pythons, who I admired greatly. I thought they were the best thing since the goons. And I said, not if you're making fun of the figure of Christ. I'm not interested. And they said, we have no intention of sending up the figure of Christ. We want a serious Christ. So I said, OK. Wonderful. And uh, what was that kind of filming experience like? An absolute joy. They were an absolute joy, as you can imagine, because they were the Pythons off screen as well as on. So uh, I imagine a great kind of comedic experience in general. Yes, and their comedy, like all true comedy, is shot through with great humanity. It wasn't just clever, cold satire. Excellent. Wow, that must have been amazing. So um, tell us more about what, uh, what you're up to at the moment. Um, up to the moment is this and waking up each morning. And I'm open to possibilities. My agent tells me there's something hovering on the horizon, but I cannot talk about it. Wow, that's great. That's very intriguing. So, well, best of luck with that. Thank you. Um, well, I think we might as well wrap it up there. Thank you very much. Hi, guys, and welcome to the Nerdemic channel. This is your best source for geek culture. So check out our videos and remember to like, share, and subscribe.